So today in Monbuzzle, we are going to be experimenting with the old and busted engine and a turbo uh, before we sell it in the update that's coming up. So if you guys want to see more of this, hit the thumbs up button and let's jump in. All right. So I mentioned last episode that we were actually prepared for the update. And well, that's not true, folks, because I actually had a really good suggestion from the comment section. So as a lot of you know, in the new update, we're going to actually be able to sell all of this junk, all the rusted parts. And you know what? It actually kind of makes me sad because this was the first car. This was the OG. Well, I had an idea. So this is the old engine that was in the car. And somebody said, does this actually make a difference compared to the new engine? So here, let's go ahead and open up the car real quick. So yeah, you have the new performance race engine in here. And somebody was like, well, what if you were to take the old busted engine and put it in here, but you keep the turbo uh, actually attached to it? Like, is it going to output the same amount of power? Which I'm kind of curious. Like, how much of a difference does the engine actually make when you have the turbo? So we're going to load this old clunker up, and she's going to have one last ride before we ultimately sell it. So let's go ahead and toss it into there. Uh, we're going to go out to the racetrack. I need to pack some poutine in here. Uh, get some maple syrup and yeah i'm prepared to give this thing one last ride before she goes to uh i don't know what do they do with rusted parts it's going to car part heaven uh i don't know where i'm getting with this anyways uh let's head out over to the racetrack all right heading to town gonna do an engine swap so we do actually have a date for the big update uh, it is gonna be coming out on march the 31st which that's next week so you can be assured that come uh, april 1st i will have uh, a new video i uh, probably won't cover all the new update items but i'm excited to jump back in here and i'm actually excited for today's experiment because i'm curious as to what's going to happen so we don't have a dyno or anything which i feel like that should be in the game somebody mentioned that in my comment section they said wouldn't it be neat if you can actually see the power output but speaking of, we need to stop by here. Does this guy have anything else that I need? Like, I'm sure these uh, parts going to start swapping once we get the new stuff. Uh, somebody wanted me to buy the race hood, which, I mean, I guess I could do that. Hold on, look around. I think we've got everything. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and purchase this just in case this thing, uh, I guess, switches out. Even though this thing's heavier than the uh, carbon fiber hood, I feel like we might be able to use this. We'll just stick it over here. Uh, we'll come get it uh, when I head back through and we'll take it to the house. I want to pretty much save the rest of my money for the uh, the new parts that are coming. Uh, also, I wonder how much we're going to make off all of our uh, old rusty parts. I can't imagine it being too much. So yeah, of course, we don't have a dyno. So how we're going to test this, we're going to go to the drag strip and make a run with the uh, current engine. And then we'll uh, make another run after with the poopy engine. And we'll see if there's actually a difference. I don't know. I feel like that turbo really does make up a lot either that or it's just been so long since i've had the old engine that i don't really remember uh, so i'm gonna make sure i'm full of fuel and another thing we need to pick up real quick i need these brake rotors i actually think that's one thing i haven't changed on my uh, car the rear brake rotors i believe are bad yeah if you look down there's rust in there and i don't think it's the stuff that you can get with the rust kits also i need a couple more rust kits because uh i kind of totally forgot that last episode and there's a couple more wheels on the derby car uh, that i can clean up okay so here we are at the racetrack i'm actually really excited for the uh, new apartment that's coming over here uh, i don't know if you have to like buy it or maybe pay for like an upgrade uh, i'll be kind of curious about that or if it just automatically appears over here but you know we should have actually taken that race hood over here we could have just left it in the workshop all right so let's pull into here i don't know how quick i can do an engine swap but i'm hoping it's fairly quick uh, we got the old uh, air compressor over here, so I don't think it's going to take that much time to do this. So, yeah, we're going to give it one last go. Uh, let me unload my other parts. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a stock run, so I don't want to have the engine in the car right now uh, because it's going to add weight to the car. So we want a clean car. Uh, that way we can do the run, and then we'll do one more run. Uh, we really probably could just go off the uh, the base time we have, but I feel like, you know what, I want to run the, uh, the turbo. Uh, also, no nitrous. We're just doing turbo only. Okay, so here is the question. How big of a difference is this actually going to make? So, no nitrous. Uh, I don't want to have that variable. I just want to have just the turbo. So, here we go. We just got to line up here. Let's uh, get ready. Come on. Where's the tree at? Uh, oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, waiting for it and go. That was decent reaction time. Second gear, third gear. Kind of short shifted a little bit there. Uh, you're going to have a tunable ECU uh, in the update. Okay, so that's... Oh, that was a best? Oh, wow. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, comment down below. What are your best times on this drag strip? I know I uh, probably could have used nitrous there, but... Yeah, we got a 9.8. So how big of a difference is this going to make is the question. If we leave the turbo on, we just swap out the block itself. Uh, I'm kind of curious. Uh, I don't actually think it's going to be a big difference, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I can actually get the power down a little bit better with the uh, lower powered block. So yeah, you just have to take the turbo off and then I think the engine will slide out. Okay, we're working under the engine real quick. Yeah, this is a quick job. There's not really much to the engine mounts and stuff. Like, it's not being held together, but by four bolts. And then, of course, you're going to have to undo the uh, the transmission here in the back. Uh, yeah, I've got everything cleared up at the top, so I should be able to take everything out at once. You know, I didn't think about the whole fact of what if the uh, turbo doesn't even mount to the old engine? Like, was that even an option, say, to not buy the race engine? That is a good question here. All right, take that off there. Uh, I think there's a chance we actually got all the bolts. Uh, yeah, that didn't take no time. I mean, we're about to figure that out. Hold on, see if everything comes out of the uh, engine. So here we go. Uh, there's a strut bar. Uh, we got the actual turbo itself. Uh, it's not wanting to slide out of there. Hold on, let's take this off over here. Okay, so can I get to the cooler? I feel, oh, okay, the engine just popped out. Okay, well, it all came out. Uh, That's the thing. All right, so we have an, pretty much an empty engine bay. I don't even have to take off the intercooler. I could have left that bolted down. But yeah, <laughs> time to put the old and bust it back into here. You know, there's going to be some people asking, why are you doing this? And why not? You know, let's just have a little bit of fun before we get rid of this thing. Oh, wait, what if they just give us the blank BMW? Like a lot of people were talking about it in the junkyard. Like what if there's a blank one? We could keep it. We're probably going to sell it, but we'll see once the update comes out. I won't like immediately go sell it. All right, that's back in. Nice. Okay, that snaps onto the side. Does the turbo go on is the question. <gasps> you can put the turbo on. Yay, this actually works. All right, let's uh, keep the nice block over here. Uh, we'll get the strut bar back on. And then all we got to do is uh, start to bolt down everything. This is going to be a lot of bolts. You know that awkward moment when you're putting all these bolts back on and then you're like, wait a minute. How do I have this many bolts left? I, I swear I only have like two or three things to left to hook in. Uh, did something else unbolt itself when I ripped the engine out? There's a chance that's a thing. Okay, I got it down to a couple bolts. Um, where am I missing bolts out of? I really don't know. I think we should just crank this up and go for it here. Uh, let's see if it cranks, see what happens here. So old engine is installed inside of the car. Here we go. It fires up. Oh, it does have a different tone. I never noticed that. It's definitely a deeper grumble. Uh, honestly, I kind of like the way it sounds. Okay, let's back it up. All right. Oh, 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 I didn't notice we had a rotor in there. Well, we had the rotor in there for the last run, so it's still a, an even run. So is there actually a difference here? Is this going to make like a big difference? I'm curious. Like, I feel like I can get on the gas harder on this one. Of course, you got less power. But if I spend all my time spinning my tires with the upgraded engine, wouldn't this be better? Holy man, if I run a better time, this is going to be weird. Okay, come on, pull up to the line. Almost there. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, and go. Okay. Oh, that second gear lag is terrible. Oh. Okay. That is very unpredictable. That's weird. Uh, it truly does make a huge difference. Huh? We're going to give it one more run. Maybe we just, uh, I don't know, maybe it was just a bad run there. Like, I feel like the, uh, the second gear where I get the lag in the uh, third gear on the uh, newer motor, the second gear lags really hard in this car. Like, I cannot wait until we can actually get in here and start to tune some of this. Okay, we are going for a second run here. Let's pull up. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to short shift out a second. I don't think that's going to work, though, because there's just, like, a lot left there. Okay. Uh, there's third gear. Come on, baby. Yeah, third gear sucks. <laughs> And boom, 10, 2. So that's a difference of 4 tenths. Uh, it's not a huge difference, but it's definitely noticeable. This thing isn't as tuned. 
Uh, the turbo does make it up. Like, what was the time to pass to unlock the uh, drag strip challenge? Well, we're pulling into the garage. We proved what we needed to prove. Like, I proved something that was very obvious, but somebody was like, man, just put the old motor in there and leave the turbo charger and just see what happens. And you know what? It's not great. <laughs> I mean, it's actually a little bit better than I thought it would be. Like, that time isn't that far off. I mean, four tenths is huge in drag racing, but, I mean, it's still got got its job done here. Uh, it's going to be kind of sad. We're going to have to uh, throw it out, but, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yank it out, though. I, I don't, I don't want to keep it in there. So here's a quick question. If I just did the engine mounts, can I just rip it out, or does the uh, other stuff have to be, like, taken off? Because that could save me, like, a ton of time here. Hold on. Uh, uh, wait, where is it? Uh, I'm unscrewing stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm changing sounds. Uh, hold on. Let's get on the creeper real quick. Is it going to be safe to undo an engine down here? Probably not. Oh, oh, it does pop out. Holy man. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, all right. Well, the engine fell out. Yep. You know what? We're just going to toss the outside. Uh, that feels kind of wrong doing that. All right. Let's get our good engine in. Uh, that was fun, though. That was like a cool little experiment. But I think this is going to be the last episode before the update. I don't have anything else I want to do. This was just like a, a last minute. Somebody mentioned it, and I was like, you know what? We're going to be getting rid of that engine, so let's just try it. Let's give it a go. Uh, let's see what we can accomplish here. But as you saw, the performance engine is actually better, even with the turbo. Like, it's just you can't match it at all. So anyways, we will see you guys on the first for the new update. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time in Mon Bazool.